All right, guys, so it is week 58. I bought these two red tail catfish 58 weeks ago. I've been taking videos every week so you can see how fast they grow. And it is super late. It is way too late. <laughs> I should be sleeping by now. I gotta work tomorrow and oh, it's gonna be a super short night. Here's my little cheat sheet. 58 weeks. And we're gonna jump right into some hand feeding. Just did a water change the other day. Look at how big they're getting. Wow. <laughs> Look at how big he is. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're getting massive. Ooh, I got too much here. Too, too much. Let's see if I can give it to this other catfish over here. So you kind of split it up between the two. <laughs> ah, I got it. <laughs> I can like specifically target which catfish I want to feed which is pretty cool doing the hand feeding. It used to be where I just threw it in there and <laughs> they'd fight over it. Usually one would get all of it and the other one wouldn't get any. But hand feeding, yeah, it's definitely easier. Ooh, here's a big chunk. <laughs> that was a huge chunk right there. Wow. All right, I'm burning through it. Only got three left. These guys are doing great uh coming up in the early spring early summer so it's it's uh, starting to warm up outside although you know we're up in the mountains so one day it was like 70 degrees and the next day it snowed which is kind of crazy kind of crazy spring weather up here in the mountains these guys are in the basement in my hot tub <laughs> So far, it's been doing good down here. Got pretty constant temperatures. Nothing really crazy. The, the hot tub's been staying at 77. So, not too bad. Let's see if I can give this guy another piece here. <laughs> He's looking for somebody, just won't come up. Ah. <sighs> Could be choking down that big piece I just gave him. Yeah, I think he could take another one. Maybe. Hmm. So I'm feeding these guys just twice a week. They're looking great for twice a week. Super low maintenance. All right, just got a little bit left for one more lucky catfish. Yeah, it looks like I got a taker here. <laughs> Look at him. He's so big. I can't believe it. Oh, there's one little piece on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to pull the filter out. I'll give you a little bit of underwater video and kind of get a close-up. You can see him swimming around a little bit. It's always neat with that underwater video because you can get right up next to them. You can really see what they look like versus just kind of looking down on the top. Water's been nice and clear. No problems at all. I started using the Melifix again. Seems like, uh, I don't know, it seems like they get a little bit sluggish and I use that the Melifix for pond. I just put one cap full in here. It's uh, about 350 gallons and it seems like it really perks them up when they're feeling a little sluggish. So that's pretty nice. It's, the Melifix pond here. This stuff is amazing. As a matter of fact, I had a couple times where they looked like almost like they were on the edge of getting like a swim bladder disease where they're starting to lose their balance a little bit. And I put that stuff in there and it cleared it right up. And I've seen some people on YouTube with red tail catfish and it seems like the swim bladder diseases can do them in too, as well as the overfeeding problem. So uh, it seems like that Melifix is definitely the cure for it. All right, so I want to finish up with some underwater video. Mm -hmm. 